this character i guess man we got a lot to talk about and it would not be a persona 4 arena video if i don't lead it with me fucking getting washed so here you go this is actually evo's winners finals i played this dude in winners and grand finals this is yume playing i guess the best i guess the best persona 4 arena player maybe he won the two hardest tournaments for this game, Evo and Japan God's Garden with I guess. So this is the the hard top tier, right? This is like the top tier takes a lot of execution, uh, meter management. She has two modes, normal mode and orgia mode. When she's in her normal mode, she's just like, she's like pretty decent. She doesn't really have anything too crazy. When she's in orgia mode, she can fly around the screen. She's got unseeable mix-ups and her damage output is really, really high. Generally, people thought that Mitsuru beats I guess, but uh, he was like, oh, the match even, or maybe I guess wins or something. And Yume was kind of a special one in that there is barely any footage of him playing any fighting game ever. Like he went out of his way to just not get recorded. A lot of the footage we do have of him is from this game, but it's, even then it's not a lot. It's like maybe three tournaments. You know, once upon a time, they didn't have like the online ranking systems in arcades. People were just like, man, like who the fuck is this dude who's always like number one ranked, but he doesn't enter tournaments. No one's seen him play or barely anyone's seen him play. Get your 480p glasses on if you are have not already. So the main thing about I guess is she's going to be just super mobile, really hard to anti-air. She's like the only character in the game that could actually wake up backdash. This game has a couple of like weird games, even though it looks like like a blaze blue guilty gear, just standard anime fighter. This game has a bunch of weird stuff. And one of like the really weird things about this game, nobody can wake up backdash. Not a single character in the game can wake up backdash. If you only watch this game for fun and haven't played it, I might change how you look at the game because you might look at some situations and be like why doesn't he just backdash and wake up like any other game you can't you're locked out of backdash for several frames the only character that could do it is i guess i guess in orgia mode she can backdash and she has one that sends her flying backwards and she can cancel it into stuff extremely 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 powerful and very privileged in a game where no one can do it some other things you can't do you can't block when you jump right away you have to wait for an additional five frames so it's pretty long and it's not like I guess is perfect. Like she's not like top top tier. Like I can think of two or three characters that are better than her: Mitsuru, uh, Chie, and maybe Narukami, depending on who you're talking to. But like this character at her peak is like just oh my god, everything basically leads into high damage 50/50. Most of it is airtight. She's gonna pull up, and since I blocked, and she has the try jump that's like un fucking unseeable, truly unseeable. I'm gonna be dead off of this. We, we talked about Yukiko and how she can't anti-air people. I guess it's the same. So I guess basically can't anti-air anyone. Her 2B, she basically doesn't have to aim. And you can uh, swap into Orgia mode and like take your turn. Where like Yukiko's 2B, it's like you don't really do anything with it at all. Really. So I mean, honestly here, I'm doing my best. Like, <laughs> I'm doing my best. She can convert her normal hits into Orgia too. He dropped a combo there, thankfully. He got me. I, I twitched. So like this string, you might be like, man, why'd you get hit? So like he's in orgia mode. So essentially every button is a mix up, but like you can weigh this out. Like the jab, for example, jab into low, like two A's airtight. Sweep is not airtight and overhead is not airtight. So you could try to bank on DP here after this, right? But then he does AA 2B. And here, whether or not there's a gap kind of depends on distance. It's a little bit funky. And like, it's variable when the bullets hit you. Maybe if I guess it's point blank, there's a gap. But if she's further, there's no gap. I kind of get hit here. I can't even tell you if there's a gap or not here. I think there was no gap here. And I tried to press. And he's going to take his turn from that. It leads into knockdown. But thankfully, his meter is kind of high. So like, she used her meter pretty quickly. So here she went back and now I have to defend. And once she gets it back, converted immediately off the jump C. This is a huge bombo. I might be dead. Oh no, he, did, he didn't believe in me dying. You see what I'm saying? Like it, like from neutral too. This happened from neutral, look at this. So from neutral, I, I'm spooked. She's flying at me. I blocked the JC. Now this is 50-50 for real. And I get hit overhead and I am dead. And he did a delayed overhead. You can tell because I blocked it crouching. So the overhead was delayed, kind of. If he did JA and I got hit, then I would be standing. But I got hit crouching. Like, the way she could, like, alter her timing between highs and lows is a lot. Takes his turn. Now I get to deal with this. But thankfully. And this thing is, like, the, the only true weakness of Mitsuru. One of her very, very few flaws is she doesn't always get a combo. 
She doesn't get a full combo here, so I have to guess. I read the backdash, and I still didn't fucking catch it. I read the backdash. Like, Mitsuru does a lot of damage, but not, like, all the time. Right here. Shoop. And then I get hit into a combo, into plus frames. And he's going to mix me up. Okay, I'm spooked. I'm spooked. Orgia mode. I get the fuck out. Nice. Uh-oh. Bombo. I could... I'm not dead, but I'm close. I'm like, next hit is death. Oh my god, how did I block? She gets to pull up from like, anywhere. And then like, earlier I told you, doing the jab is like, risky. Doing the jab into a mix-up is risky. But it's like, he didn't do it basically the whole time he played. So he did it here, I got hit. I'm actually playing pretty well here, by the way. I'm playing pretty well. I'm... Oh no. For the grand final set, I thought LK won EVO once in P4. Some people say I won EVO for P4, but I don't count it because it wasn't a main event. I won the, I won the year after this, but I don't I don't count it. Other people are like, you won. I was like, yeah, but it wasn't a main event, so I, did it, I didn't win it. So we run it, we run it back, we run it back. This this character was uh, the first character that, like, at this time, I thought this type of character is the best, basically. Like, I guess it's not the best character in the game. But I thought this type of character is the best type of character in a fighting game. Of like, my neutral is too good and you can't catch me. Every button is a 50-50. And all my shit is really safe. And I could just like, kind of play lame and just force mix up on my own. Because Mitsuru is the best character. But you you have to accept. And this is like, like why a lot of people dropped her. You have to accept not always getting combos. You have to accept getting a lot of strays sometimes. And you have to be cool if your opponent's taking like really big risks on you sometimes. But they, they have to. And then if you're right, you, you delete them. If you, if you knock them down, actually, then they're fucked. But you have to deal with all that stuff. So I was like, uh, even though I guess is better. Uh, not Sorry. You know, Mitsuru is better. Like, isn't I guess's character type better? That like fucked with me until basically Dragon Ball, essentially. The, this, uh, this set and this character. Because I'm like, what? So like, what do you do when like you play against a character that like basically has to take no risks. It basically has to take very little risk in neutral. Very little risk on offense. Everything's 50-50. Everything does mad damage. Too mobile. And then has like unique defense stuff on top of that. I'm like, really, seriously, what do you do? Like you see in, a, in some spots, like I, I just overextend because I feel like I have to. I have to like get him to do stuff or take risks. It's like a small chunk of why I wanted to play Ram and then Milia and Exerd is like this thought. This this set and like this character really changed it, changed uh, my thoughts a lot about fighting games and fighting game characters. Today, I would say that basically every single archetype has like a peak like some crazy shit, like mega strong, and then like they all have weaknesses. But this time I was like, ah, isn't this the best? Like, isn't this better than like fucking everything? What are some of I guess's glaring flaws? Good question. The main one, in my opinion, is probably her DP is very average. Her normals are not like spectacular, and her defense is kind of is kind of mid. So like, what makes it really tough, me versus him, is like what I have to do when I'm in on him versus what he has to do. When he's in on me, he just fifty fifties me. Like, not that much of a mystery. And I do the thing that I know that this this this, this was a uh, this was pain too. This thing I I had this problem for a long time too. Where like I still kind of have it, but not not as bad. Where I would do stuff in tournament that I would never do in like a normal match. And this was one I know that she gets out of that for free. I'm playing the best Igus player, and I'm like, oh, let me just do the thing that I know gets killed by this super. And I got killed by the super, and I go, wow, what a surprise! Look at how you can convert neutral into mix up into like really, really powerful mix up. He just flew in, but here I got a block, boom. Now he's gonna get the meter back. Gets a safe jump off it. A fuzzy that doesn't really mean anything, but he's gonna peel off and then switch into Orgia mode. And now I gotta deal with this. If he catches me, he's gonna hit me into a combo. He's gonna do another Megiddo and switch off screen into safe jump. Like what, <laughs> like, and most characters like, you know, you want something better than a safe jump, so you can mix them up. But when you safe jump with Igus, like, you're just getting that meter back. Eventually, you're going to switch again. You just run it. And and having the back dash on top of that to fight against is, like, so, so, so rough. I'm getting my strains, but it's, like, not nothing. nothing's really happening. This character is not, like, uh, you know, like, we talked about S-Lab, and it's, it's really easy to just, like, look at S-Lab stuff. I'm like, man, look how bullshit this move is, whatever. But for talking about Igus, it's just about, like, the overall game plan. And, like, it's something I want to talk about for modern fighting games, too, because I feel like around this time, plus after, like, BBCP, is when I feel like a lot of characters, a lot of games, they started to nerf this. 
because I think, like I said, I thought this was the best shit, like, in fighting games. I was like, really, seriously, what do you do? Uh, and, like, since then, they've been toning this type of playstyle down for the better, in the end, for the better. Because even if it's hard, like, this character, I guess, takes a lot of skill executionally. Execution-wise, takes is not easy to play, this character. But somebody is going to do it. As I mentioned in other videos, somebody is going to do it eventually. And then what happens when someone gets it? You know what I mean? So my, my mindset has changed to, like, every character even like characters where you might be like oh this character is pretty honest like your kai types like even that character has a, a technical peak like if they give the character a certain type of, pool of tools where you're like yo this is actually ridiculous like what the fuck all, all i gotta say is like the the flow of the game is really really straightforward even it looks really impressive but like so i get hit he's gonna knock me down off megido switch into safe jump right he os is here you can vary your timing right so he sees I don't I don't tuck. He uses the Orgio mode as a safe jump, and then this is a 50/50, and then I block it. Good good shit, and then I get hit by the next one, and this is this is a 50/50 and a safe jump. 50/50 and a safe jump. I block it. He goes into 5B, which leads into another gapless 50/50. I don't block it. The sweep is a godlike starter, so I'm about to get bomboed, and I'm scared of getting my fucking burst baited because he's in Orgio mode, and during Megido you can't fucking burst. Dead. Oh, close, close, close. Okay, I got a pixel. I got a pixel. Psh. So, like, I was, I was just super in my feels. Between, like, being depressed about fighting games in general, and then being like, man, I play the best character, but, like, she's the best, but, like, it's hard in tournament, but, like, she is the best type thing. And I was, just, I was like, man. And then when BBCP came out and how they changed Lychee, I just got, like, I was just super down in the dumps, and I switched to Valkenhayn mostly because of this. It's, it's, it was like half of my reason of switching was because of this. Right now in Strive, there is no character like this. There's no equivalent to this. This just does, does not exist. Oh, I went for some fucking heat in EVO Grand Finals, bro. I went for some heat. Only a Mitsu to play would understand how OD the shit I'm trying to do is. E Eno, Eno is close. Eno was close, but she, she, she has to take risks. She has to take risks on a, a bunch of her stuff. She's close, though. She's close. I, I guess it's airtight. Jump C, 5B, this shit is airtight. Yeah, I try to, to be burst safe even here. Try to be burst safe. Try to base burst. Trying to bait burst in EVO Grand Finals, fellas. You love to see it. 50-50 from neutral. Again, good game. I guess it's a little subtle, but if, once someone shows you, like, it's just repeated, like, 50 50 you from neutral into a safe jump you can't deal with, into 50-50 again. You can't burst, like, most of her combos. And it's just this, that shit over and over and over again. It's incredibly strong.